Hi guys, welcome to FA channel. You're in a space where we celebrate our technology and creativity. Every week we're posting three to five videos to share my personal virtual experience, playful experiments, and some cool learning process. Before I start, I want to ask you some questions. If you have a choice to uh, try a virtual clothes completely look like wearing on you, and then in order to when you go online or do a virtual shopping and then you click on some kind of button, that virtual clothes is completely wearing on you. Will that help you to purchase the clothes? Um, this question has been playing in my mind for a long time. And I've also made one episode before about how, uh, what are we looking for when we're doing online shopping? Yesterday, we saw a news from Japanese e-commerce company called Zozo. There's some great news about the development using deep fake and I want to talk about this today in this episode. It's pretty exciting so let's get started. Because of the COVID and the pandemic and we can go shopping more easily to try on the clothes so I'm pretty sure in the future some of the e-commerce company will have to figure out a way to let people who go to their website trying to close and recently i also going to uh, listen some podcasts and going some listen some conversation on clubhouse and i realized a lot of people are talking about argument reality and fashion saying how people are wearing um a filter on their face with ar and how in the future it can be an ar on your body so try the digital clothes with augmented reality. From a cre digital creator's point of view, this doesn't really work well because the fabric rendering is very difficult. And if you want real-time rendering, even the best iPhone, it will be really hard to render the realistic fabric. There were so many details and a lot of um, element and the mesh and everything. It's really hard to look real on your body. Well, at the same time, I saw some like digital companies are selling the digital pieces so that you can uh, send your photo and they will send you, they will literally do like a Photoshop. Photoshop the digital clothes on your body with, with uh, and then send you the photo. That's pretty cool. But the problem is it's very expensive. Most of the pieces that I've, I've seen, it's around like two, three hundred dollars. Will you do that? Like, I mean, Maybe if you were an influencer on Instagram, you will try to do that. But if you're not, if just like a regular customer and you still wanted to wear real clothes, what will be the best case in the future? Let's imagine. So that's one of the questions I'm, I keep asking and very interested in. So yesterday we saw this news that Sozo is a e-commerce company in e-commerce fashion company in Japan. I mentioned it in the shopping episode. If you're interested, please go take a look. So this company is testing. At this point, for example, they have their own clothes to sell on e-commerce store. So they let real model wear the real clothes and then using deep fake to switch the real model's face with the avatar, like a digital uh, character's face. And here's the photo they have for now. And their vision and goal is to make full render photo, like a real, like photo real fashion piece to wear on the digital model, then to switch with real customer's face. So what in that, what that mean is, for example, Zozo have their own fashion piece. And to be able to save money to shoot for the photo shoot and everything, they will have, they will use computer rendering to make the digital model wearing their digital clothes, something like clothes, for example, they can use the 3D render of that piece of clothes and using the digital model to wear the clothes. Then when you, as a, con as a consumer and customer, when you go online and you can choose your face type and your body shape, and then switch, then you switch your face and body to that character, digital character online, then you will see exactly how you look with that clothes. 
bam that's like really cool so for those of you who doesn't know what is deep fake it's like it's using a form of like artificial intelligence to uh to do the deep learning and then make fake videos <laughs> of course there are a lot of like use of it but i think for fashion purpose this is a very intelligent and possible way in the for the future of online shopping imagine like if you go online and you just see the piece of clothes that you really like and you you know how your face shapes like and you know how your body's uh, shape like your height and everything and then all you need to do is to click on the button to 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 switch your face and body shape with a digital model and then that moment you will i'm pretty sure you you will you will kind of know like how you feel about the about this clothes of course when you compare with the real store experience it's still not going to be the same because you can't touch the fabrics you can't um experience the how you feel when you wear that clothes i'm at this point i'm really just talking about online shopping experience doesn't mean that doesn't necessarily mean in the future every store will be online and uh, shopping online will be the only way that's not what i mean i'm just saying at this point this is like the best possible way i can think about digital fashion and also recently i've been seeing this like really interesting app the chinese app called Chu Yan. it's not i don't know it's called it's called Go Act, but I don't know. They they don't really have English version, English title on the App Store. So what you do, like, as most of Chinese <laughs> like to do, you can switch your face. If you upload your photo, you can switch your face with cele celebrity's face. They will have like a video of celebrity maybe dancing or do a commercial shoot. And then you can just click on it. After like 10 seconds, your face will become, will be on the video and you the the problem with that is i don't know if they're using deep fake but the the problem with that is but the face shape and body shape will be exactly like the celebrity so say the celebrity have very narrow face and your face is like more round shape and then if you put your face on that video you will you won't look like you but it's pretty interesting. A lot of people in China love that. My point is like this kind of thing exists. A fashion try on um, for e-commerce store. I think that's a great idea. And I'm looking forward to see what's coming next. And I, yeah, of course, at the same time, I'm, I'm pretty concerning about like personal image, like privacy and everything. But to be honest, if you have a Facebook account, if you have a lot of social media that you had, post your photos or videos online your image is already there of course it's very important to protect your privacy but because of social media the line is pretty blurry when you think about privacy so yeah just definitely a personal preference in my mind i like to see i like to hear what you think about this like will you try something like that what is this a new exciting thing for you or is a pretty scary option for you i'd like to hear about your thought please please come on our video or join our discord server let's get this conversation going i'd like to hear about what you think and um, yeah that's it for today's video hope you enjoy it please subscribe our channel for new updates thank you so much guys have a great day and see you in the next video take care